Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Trails of Cold Steel, Feral Fiasco here. So, Gaius told us last time that we should go east if we want to see the sun again, so we're gonna go west. Alright, right, go! Ha! Set! Ha! Got him? Did I get him? Or did he get me? If it's a fight they want. I guess we got each other. My turn! Oh, wow. And I restore some CP. Okay, cool, because um, Elliot is completely out. There. Yeah, we're just going to basic attack madness these guys. Double kitty kick. Oh. Counter. That's good. Machius is actually pretty low. Double kitty kick. And that kicks me all the way across the freaking field. Machias. Yep. Exactly. Let's do it. Got one. Right. Oh, he dropped something. Oh, okay. So I don't have to move over it to pick it up. All right. Should be within range. Yep. Got him. Double kitty kick. My turn. Too far away. It's my turn. Here we go. It's my turn. What the heck is going on? Oh my god. Okay, so everyone's being a little pathetic right now. Come on. And Gaius should finish him off. And then maybe Reen will be able to attack the kitty that's directly in front of him. Got him. Okay, thank God. That's that. Let's keep moving. Let's see what that drop was, though. New material and red beast flesh. New material with a sword icon. There's probably some sort of synthesis mechanic. Is that what I need the sepith for? Oh, the treasure chest. Found tier. Tear is the heal, right? Because we got a tear bomb. Heals a small amount of HP with the power of water. I'm actually... I can't give it to him. And it looks like Gaius actually already has something there. Is it just me and... Is it just me and, uh... Elliot who didn't? Huh. Well... Regardless, I'm going to give Tear to Reen. So now Reen can heal, which is good. Alright. Let's head back up and uh, see if we can't get out of this place. Well, we'll probably see... We'll probably meet up with Fee and Juices before it gets to that point. Together, we're unbeatable. Someone leveled up. I drop. Should have been Machias, right? <laughs> I did it. All right, cool. Oh, uh, and now I'm all turned around again. Okay, no, we're we're headed to the right place. Right, we're headed the right way, anyways. It's my turn. Right. And is this fear juices? <sighs> What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Fee. Oh, this looks like the setup to a boss battle. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Yeah. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Fee Clausel. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Wait. Halfway through the starting dungeon? Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. 
See you at the end. Oh, wow. Someone's showing off. What just happened? She's got anime powers. Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, she seems pretty capable. Just over halfway through. Has she already been to the exit and then come back? Yeah, dude, she wants to be friends. Go! We got enemies. Somewhere. Okay, flying feline. Nope, 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 nope. Can we encounter Link in this game? Probably not. Triple advantage? Wins behind us. Heck yeah! Let's go. That takes care of them. Yep, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we got Gaius and uh, Reen both pretty close to leveling up. More clear gelatin and red beast flesh. And then we can head up and kill this thing and then be on our way. Time is precious. We should hurry. Easy as pie. And now we can head up to what is more than likely the final floor before we get out. There we go. Oh, there's one more monster. All right. Leave it to me. I don't know. It's just out. Or up. You hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on. Uh, Rain! Wait for me! Where are your hero instincts at, guys? Oh my god. Dude, Juices is handling it. Incredible. That was really something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. Yeah, I thought this was going to turn into a I thing. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Pretty inquisitive right. guy is. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. I think Juices is a... Well, I already said this earlier, but Juices has definitely been Diskin. <sighs> Did you need something? <sighs> Doing his sigh voice. Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. Admiring, bro? I'm Reen Schwarzer. Let's all introduce ourselves for the fourth time? I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I, I'm Elliot Craig. Guys Warzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. Yeah, dude, we were all standing there. Whatever. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. Okay, so now Juices is going after Machias. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. <laughs> okay. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? Honestly, Macias, you started it, dude. No, those really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? <laughs> you're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. What? 
Wait, what? So Machias is royalty oh, or whatever. I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. His face though. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. And as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. Uh-oh. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather... Personal? Sheep, wouldn't you say? Wait, did I miss something? You, you son of a... M Magius, don't do it! Reprimand Juices, stop Machias. Machias is like... God. I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And Yusis, don't you think that was a little uncalled for? Oh, his name is Yusis? That's a little better. I wasn't the one who started this. Which is true. Let me... Damn it, just let me go already! Sorry, okay? Just leave me alone for a while. Is Maki's gonna leave our party because of what I chose? You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Yusis. Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but tracking his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Huh? You look shocked. Why? Yeah, what, what's wrong? What's w up? Well, you're the son of Duke Elberea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was wrong. Ah, uh, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so Fair the enough. idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <laughs> Is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Yusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. Yeah, so I did choose who was going to be in my party with that selection. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself. But I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. What? <laughs> I, I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. I, I mean, I'm looking forward to having you on the team. <laughs> let's just go with that. Yeah, let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. Machias has left the party. Yusis has joined the party. Right! It's my turn. I'll handle this. Let's see. Was that a... Did we get a... Now's chance. Let's triple advantage from... Does Yusis have a different attack type than Go. I do? Oh, uh... Oh crap, uh, there's eight of them, and we're like all out of EP and stuff. A capsule filled with horrible energy. 
A pill that returns Lord attributes to normal levels. I drops to cure sudden visual impairments. Cures that down. Restores 100 EP. Okay, so let's all focus on attacking the same enemy. Except for Usus. Usus, what can you do? Airstrike Golden Sphere attacks enemies with golden magical orbs. Arcus, activate! So he's got an area of effect Arcus skill. What if they move out of his range while he's doing that? That's probably one of the. That's probably a danger of it. 194. Oh wow! Here we go. Okay, so Usus is awesome. My turn. Uh, I don't think I can use some other guys. I'll handle this. Uh, Golden Sphere. Marcus, activate. That should finish these guys off, All actually. Right. Gale Stinger. It's like the only thing that'll. Hit something that far away. Should be good on these three. Wow, Usus is really strong. 74, that was kind of bad. He did twice as much to me! Oh well, at least you moving into my range. My turn. Okay, now we all have to just, like, run over there. Right. Oh, cool. Oh, Elliot coming in going. for the alley-oop. Wow. Right. Level 5. Motivate can now be used, an encouraging shout to rouse allies to battle. All right. Nice. All right, so Reen learned uh, that was a craft, probably. I've got this. Oh wait, which one is this one? What? Okay. Oh, super turned around for a second. <laughs> he seems kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. Just stop worrying about it so much. Okay, and this was what feed. Can I break these? I can! Cool! Time Sepith. And there's probably going to be a boss battle, and then we'll be able to get out of here. Flying felines. So, All right. if I don't get a this. triple advantage with this, then it'll be a sure thing that. Reen and, uh, Reen and Usus use different attack types. Now's our chance. Let's I do get a triple advantage. My turn. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste that those golden sphere usages on these guys. Here we go. Gaius will get this third one. And Elliot will attack this guy. Almost for the kill. Very well. Elliot's out for blood, dude. He had to take that second turn really quickly. Alright. Actually, let's go for a kill rather than another there. setup. Yep, there we go. My turn. I'll handle this. Right. You say that, but then you don't kill him. Is everybody okay? Yeah, we're all gonna pretend that those orbital attacks didn't go right through Usus. Red Beast Flash. Uh, I'm coming from down there. I've got this! <laughs>
Wow. That's a lot of freaking Sepeth we just got. Alright. So, I don't... Like, I actually kind of clicked out of it pretty quickly, but we got Time and Mirage Sepeth on top of, like, Earth, Water, Fire, Wind, stuff like that. Which I noticed when I first played Leave this to game... Me. Very well. Well, not first played this game, but played the PSP version, that, like, Time and Mirage were, like, elements or something. And I don't claim to get it, but, like... And I actually still don't... I'm not 100% certain what Sepeth even does. But I assume it's for, like, Synthesis or something. Oh, we did it! And we got an item, looks like. Two times the experience. Alright, now I'm all turned around again. Looks like there's one more room, and then we can head up. We're gonna check out this room, because there might there might be a, a treasure chest in it. Yep, sure thing. Uh, sure is, actually. Get this guy. Wait behind us. Let's go. Here we go. Ah, you can skip that. Is everybody okay? All right. Oh, a treasure chest. Yes, indeed. Uses. Let's try not to slice it up. Evade one. Okay. Can I even equip that? Actually, I think. I think everyone's all. The slot is unopened, so I probably have to do something to open up those slots or whatever. Oh, this is empty! I didn't realize. Alright, so evade plus 5%. Why not? Gaius is already a dodge machine. And now we should be able to actually get out of here. Well, there's no way there's not a boss fight, actually. Let's go ahead, head up to stairway room. Freedom, the sun, all things that we've been sorely missing. We're going to rest. Alright, so we're all well rested. Actually, let's also save it. Alright, progress saved just in case the boss waiting for us is like super unfair or something actually let's also because we're gonna go in there oh no i was about to say let's also use those heels uh, uh heels we've got but yeah this is definitely looking hey, like a boss are fight. we so considering that there are five months between now and the segment we played at the beginning there's got to be some like kind are. of social link system. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busy work at best. I don't know. Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge. But nothing here posed even a modest threat. We are playing on hard, and it was kind of tough. Even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What was that? There! The boss! Oh! The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? Is it the same kind of sorcery we were using? So let's go ahead and kill this purple gargoyle oh, thing. Monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales, they aren't. The six cutting off her only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Is this why Fee came back? Finally, so that we could do the little heavy lifting for her? 
Helios, help us. This might actually be a challenge. Good. Here we go. So first we're going to use a battle scope. Poison, mute, blind, okay. Burn, freeze. Poison, mute, blind, burn, and freeze are all effective against it. Oh, crap. Uh... Wait, does he know tear? How does he know tear? First, we're going to use resounding beat on everyone. Very well. I think for S craft, uh, not, we're not just going to run up and attack. Golden Sphere. Soul Blur. Okay, so it's, it's just turn. a strong attack. That's less scary. Gale Stinger, 181. That's impressive. 393, what was that? Four ninety-five, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's the resounding beat healing us. Here we go! Um Firebolt. Burn 20 a 20% 20 chance to burn. And we can 392. Did I burn him? Ooh. And he missed Gaius, so Gaius got the counter. Very 870, well. so he is burned. No. Freaking Reen is burned, because you probably can't see it right this uh, right this very second, but. Yeah, there it is. Golden Spear. Which happened immediately, actually. 446. Two. Do I have anything that'll heal that? I don't have anything that'll heal a burn. Hmm. And heals 30 HP every turn. Does this have does it expire or does it like go on indefinitely? It has to expire at some point. Uh let's use Needle Shot. It's my turn. Gaius. We'll use Gale Stinger. See if we can't push him back a little. Jeez. Not even a little bit. 393. Needle shoot. He resists it, but it did 510. My turn. Alright, so we're gonna keep fire bolting to see if we can't burn him. I healed 192. Alright, so this will be another well. soul blur, and it looks like he's gonna. It looks like he's after. Um, what's his face? Gaius. Gaius should be fine. 546, but he's balanced and undown or something. 441. Okay, cool. We're we're definitely gonna beat this guy. Bonus critical. How is this fair? Okay, first we're gonna move out of range of whatever that whatever is about to happen. Go. But Gaius can't. Ariel. Oh. Jesus! That's embarrassing. I won't lose like this. First, I'm gonna resound up, these everyone. guys. Go. All right, so it's four turns. I think that's what that's what's listed underneath our things at the bottom. Uh, I should have used motivate earlier. Firebird.
121? Huh. 75? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, miss. And we get to counter. 224. Very well. 822. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to use an item to revive. We've got, we've got one reviving one more, so no one else can be revived after this. Thank you. Perhaps motivate an encouraging shout to rouse allies in battle. All right, let's do this. I'll handle this. Squall. I miss him though. All right, so we're gonna try an aqua beam. Thirty-two. I'll handle this. Marcus, activate. All right. And you are actually going to heal yourself with a tear bomb. Take this. Airstrike. One forty-three. Too impressive. Okay, just a regular attack that is freaking strong. Oh my god. We're gonna have Reen walk up and attack just to see if we can get him in range for another resounding beat. Uh, it'll just be him and Juices. We can get all three of us. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead. Gale Stinger. No, we're just gonna use a physical attack since we got motivated. 370. Yeah, the physical our physical turn. attacks are actually doing just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna try a rapid thrust. Actually, 489. Yes, please. 334. All right. 341. One damage! Go! Total waste of the turn. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna use Motivate again, actually. Alright, let's do this! Alright, so that's what. So that's the Motivate icon. Jesus. This is nothing. We're gonna have Juices use Rapid Thrust. It's my turn. up a bit. We're gonna have Gaius walk back up and attack, because our motivate is what's keeping us in this fight, actually. Motivate and resounding beat. Uh, we're going to have Elliot reapply resounding beat to everyone. Keep it up, everyone! Cool. Elliot got some healing, too. Wait. What about Autumn Leaf Cutter? There. 470. Very well. And rapid thrust. Leave it to me. There. Attack. Um. Don't need to immediately reapply resounding beat. Let's go ahead and queue up an aqua bleed. He's only got one more round of us attacking, anyways. Uh, unless he busts out some super obnoxious attack. 470. Squall. Ooh! It's impossible! Oh crap! It's my turn. Okay, so we're actually gonna have him heal himself. Cause we just Take this. We just entered the danger zone, people. Go! Um, autumn leaf cutter. Oh my god. 501. It's my turn. 
750. All I need is for us to not be killed. Okay, excellent. We win. We win. We're gonna win. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's not it. 35. So unless I miss, I'm gonna win. Thank God, dude. Way too close for comfort. Okay, so... Very first boss, made of BS, but we got it. Bag of tricks. And scouter these guys. And Yusus's quartz, master quartz, looks to be named Mistral. I did it. Nice. Yeah, you guys deserve those levels. Sucks to be Yusus and Elliot, but hey. All right, so that was definitely tough, but we did it. Well, that should be the end of it. No, it's down, but not out. Are you serious? Cutscene power, please. Cutscene power? Can we get cutscene power what? going? That's one hell of a second wind. I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. Seriously? It's no use. We're too spent to go another round with it. Guess I have no Stand choice. Back. I'll have to... Okay, the cavalry. The little hop, though. You made it. You've certainly got some good timing. <sighs> Seems like you're all okay, at least. Hey, she didn't want me to die a horrible death. I'm sorry we took so long. You're here, and that's what counts. Seriously. So, a gargoyle, is it? I didn't expect to find the Dark Ages alive and well down here. It doesn't seem like it'll go down easily. Indeed. It's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it. But with this many of us, we can just find an opening? Fine. I guess I'll help out. Looks like you started the party without me. You? Releasing limiter. Take this! Break shot! Got him. And she cut the Achilles. An opening. Go. Oh my God! Cutscene power. Oh my god, got him! Now you want to go back to being a statue? It's... We did it! <sighs> I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. Completely fine by me. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was that same thing, the white light that told us we synced up like with our each of us were engulfed right? in some faint blue light. Yeah, like when we synced up with our orbments. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat, but I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think oh, it was it's just linking. your imagination. Guys, remember when we were fighting the uh, fighting in the beginning and we were all linked up and stuff? Agreed. That must be what that was. I have a feeling what we just experienced was the biggest selling point of the Almighty Arcus. Give this man a prize.
Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. This chick. I'm so proud of you guys. Still with the hearts. Anyway, that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. <laughs> I thought you'd all be happy. Considering we all almost died, what are we supposed to be happy about? Seriously. I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Hmm... That is a valid question. Uh, yeah. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. Didn't we just get these from you? How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ornament, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. Called that's it. the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. Seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. That's the power of your friendship, Elliot. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that. It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Why, though? Hmm. It does sound rather... Intense? Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. Okay, I, I guess I can and gel with that. since aptitude trumps background in Class 7, well... Here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so... random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. Huh? But this program isn't cheap to run. So we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just fair warning. Still recording? Yeah. Uh, I can cut this part out, so whatever you're out here to do, you can do. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7? Or not? I think I'm gonna stick with Class 7 myself. If you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. Why, though? We get Nobles the chance to be super special? will land in class 1 or 2, commoners in 3, 4, or 5. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure you'd fit in just fine. I'll do it. 
Whatever Class 7 has to throw at me, I'm game. Oh, wait, what? What do you mean? Just like that? So you're the first, then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. I like that answer. Hmm, a noble sentiment. Don't you mean a noble sentiment? Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Fair enough. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Oh, okay. Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? And you all seem pretty easy to get along with. Except for uses, right? And that's a yes from our two Orville staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage, so on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Let me join too. Okay, I expected Alyssa to be last. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you, Fee? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Okay. Not this time. This is one call you're gonna have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Ah, <sighs> fine, I'm in. All right. <laughs> well, at least you committed. We've got a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <clears throat> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Right? Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Like hell we will! Come on, Machias. The exploitation of the common people by the aristocracy is a blight on every facet of Erebonian life! Jesus! Unless something is done about it, this country has no future! Can't you soapbox somewhere else, dude? I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Yeah, dude. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Wh why? You're the son of a duke! Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick! I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Right? As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. Right? I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? 
I don't need some pompous ass who coasts through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. Dude, these guys... <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh, hey, she's talking to us now? Oh. <laughs> the pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. <laughs> Give a guy a break. Congratulate all of you on being the first ever class seven. I hope you keep those high spirits all here, because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. Dude, I'm up for whatever. And that's not the peanut gallery. Oh, that's Van Dyke and some Well, well, guy. I wasn't expecting class seven to turn out quite as diverse as this it certainly promises to be an interesting year <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth that is a guy but perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess no mm, maybe how do you mean Oh, hey! Seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. Is that Eusis' brother? A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Prologue, The Way to Thor's, End. So, we're gonna go ahead, save it here. And 
same dialogue going to come up? Awesome. You've earned a trophy, the weight of Thor's. All right. So we've gone ahead, beat it, uh, beaten the gargoyle, defeated the prologue, and I will see you guys, my loyal subjects, next time for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now.